My name is Madonna Pelter Yawaki, and I'm with Turtle Island Communications. Um, the topic is tribal broadband opportunities through partnerships. Um, the first thing that I would want to say is that um, tribes, tribal lands, are the most underserved, unserved, and underserved areas throughout the United States, and that includes Minnesota. And so there's a need to um, recognize that tribal sovereignty plays a role in the development of broadband on tribal lands and that the broadband development is not only a technical issue, it's a regulatory issue as well. So um, with that said, we had four people uh, with our um, group, Eric Landpland, Sally Finday, uh, Wayne Bond, and myself. And um, what we want to see happen is, um, and I, our Office of, Econo of uh, Broadband Development, what we'd hope that um, would happen is that there, I believe there's an executive order through Governor Dayton's office that um, requires working with tribes and that, that this would be inclusive of that order, that broadband would be a part of that, that plan and um, that the issues that tribes face are there's, um, that they need service, broadband service throughout the whole tribal lands. It's, um, broadband is available along roads and in pockets, but it's not ubiquitous. And um, broad, broadband development, when done through a um, tribal lens, is a community development lens that incorporates cultural resources. And it's not necessarily um, done as um, a business case, but that, um, really is aligns with some of the rationale of business develop or broadband development in rural America because that isn't purely a business case either. It's done because it's a, considered a utility. And then um, the, um, the way that services are um, delivered today is that service providers enter tribal lands without tribal authorization typically and so it would be better if they would work with tribes rather than assume that there's um, no one to work with. And then um, the, there's a need for shared tribal interest and for tribes to participate and prioritize um, broadband development. And I would call on um, the organizers of this conference and also the Office of Broadband Development that since there are 11 tribes in the state, that there be a special effort made to um, be inclusive of economic development directors, tribal leadership, and technical people to participate in these kinds of forums.